welcome to Crochet Day by Day. My name is Nadej and today I wanted to do something just a little bit different and give you guys some crochet fall ideas or fall crochet ideas because fall is coming up or if you're watching this video by the time fall is already here, fall is here. So <laughs> I thought I would go ahead and share some ideas that I have for myself and some that are really beginner friendly, maybe a little more intermediate, but I wanted to definitely give some inspo out. With that said, I have a few different categories here, specifically like decor, wearables, things like that, and then just kind of a random category. I will give you some photos here as I go through my list. So if you see me looking down, I'm just looking at my written down list here. And of course, I will link everything below in the order that you I give them to you because I think that'll be easier. I do also have a Pinterest board with everything that I'm going to be sharing with you as well. Uh, there's some YouTube tutorials that are, I think, more helpful than the pattern, the written pattern sometimes. So I'll just link everything down below in the order that I say them because I think that'll be easy. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I have some like kitchenware. So one thing that's really easy to make are coasters. Now you could do a lot of different kinds. You can do squares, circles, or even pumpkin coasters because you know, it's fall and those can last all the way through November. The next idea is coffee cozies. So I saw these cozies that go around, so it's kind of just a circle, and some that actually go over the handle of a coffee mug. Now, I don't know about you, but during fall season or when it gets colder, I'm drinking a lot more hot coffee and hot beverages compared to in the summer when I'm really trying to drink like iced coffee just because it's, it's hot. So you want to warm up in the fall? I do too. Coffee cozies are a really good way to just get through your yarn stash too, and they're great gifts. A couple other things that are really easy, easy to make are hand towels and dish towels. So hand towels, you know, wipe your hands when you, after you wash your dishes with a dish towel. A lot of the time using like a more coarse yarn, like cotton yarn, a real thick cotton yarn, like Lily Sugar and Cream is a good example for these scrubbies or, or washcloths if you're washing your dishes. And then afterward, you just wash your, or dry your hands with the dish towel. Definitely would recommend more of like a cotton yarn or cotton blend just because acrylic doesn't really absorb water as well as cotton wood and you're not drying your hands. The next one is placemats. Now placemats are a nice accent to have, especially if you have a dinner table. Everything I have in my house is a bit of a calamity, so those placemats usually go kind of like on our bar top. So you could do square or rectangle placemats, easy enough to make, or these pumpkin placemats that I think are really adorable and cute for the fall. Even leaves, which would be a good pattern, like a giant leaf. It would probably take a little bit more time because of the edging, but a leaf placemat would be really cool as well. And lastly, for kind of kitchen, is potholders. Potholders, I don't know about you, but I bake way, way more in the fall. I think it's kind of a common thing here. People are going to bake more because it keeps the house warm and you want those warm goodies. In the summer, I'm not really baking. That's for sure. It's too hot for that. So potholders is another really good idea, especially for beginners when you're making anything with your stash or for fall since we're going to be baking a little bit more. Next, I would like to talk about kind of wearables. So first, a headband. Headbands are super easy to make, really don't take a lot of time either. You can get a pattern like this or just kind of make a single crochet row and then you just tie it in the back, which then leads into a bandana. So I personally like bandanas because you can kind of shape them into a lot of different ways to wear them. So it's a multi-functional accessory when you make a crochet bandana. Also, beanies. My goodness, I love this uh, tutorial from, I believe it's Turtle Trunk. She has the easiest beanie, uh, I wanted to say recipe. <laughs> Easiest beanie tutorial on YouTube and I have made several beanies with this and it's probably my go-to for making beanies because they're quick, it's fast, and it's super easy. You don't really have to think about it 
when you're done, you kind of sew it all together, flip it inside out, make your little brim if you want one, and you're done. So definitely would suggest beanies. And lastly, scrunchies. I have yet to make scrunchies, but I've been seeing scrunchies all over the place, and they look fairly simple and easy to make. And scrunchies are just coming back. They've been back for a while now, but I feel like they're really on that comeback, and you, even if it's just an accessory for your wrist, right? So definitely would recommend a scrunchie, making some scrunchies. If you have some, you know, hair ties lying around, make some scrunchies with that scrap yarn, velvet yarn, blanket yarn, anything like that. Okay, next, this is more of like a all around home decor section. So for example, pumpkins. I'm not sure why I didn't even lead with this, but pumpkins. Pumpkins are a great accessory for your home, especially if you do a lot of fall decor during fall and you can display your nice work throughout your house which is really cute and they're really simple and easy to make there are so many tutorials i will link my favorite one for you below and of course this pattern from this photo here and then uh on top of that for fall decor i saw this fall leaves garland so Leaves can be easier, well, easy to make once you get the hang of it. As with anything in crochet, it's all about that repetition, and that's how you learn. So making a crochet garland would be super easy with the leaves. And then you just string it around your house. Make it really pretty, very, uh, you could just feel the fall in the house. So a fall garland or leaf garland for fall would be a nice home decor accessory if you will you could also do a pumpkin garland so leaves pumpkins pick a room string them all over the house definitely recommend making some kind of garland for any kind of fall decor and then there's there's like pillows you can make pumpkin pillows or just like the colors of fall orange green or not green well yeah green like a like a dark green forest green uh, browns, yellows, reds, those types of colors, just pillow accents, pillow covers would be a good thing to do. I've made plenty of those before. Love making pillow covers. And wreaths. Wreaths are not something that I've actually made yet, but everything that I've seen so far, I would really like to make. And for every season, fall, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween, New Year's, uh, Valentine, whatever, everything that comes up, through, throughout the year, let's just make a wreath for everything that we can. Uh, Flag Day, uh, Arbor Day, Earth Day, all the all the wreaths, all the wreaths. So that would be a nice one for fall. You can add your leaves from your garland onto it and some pumpkins. That would be really cute as well. On top of that, baskets. I know for me when uh, it's fall time and winter time, I have tons of blankets all around. I have them all around year round, but they're out more. So a basket to put it, your, your blankets in or just to hold your other pumpkins, you can make a basket to put pumpkins in or something like that. Just baskets are a great idea to store even just stuff in the kitchen, linens, baskets. Baskets are fun and super easy to make. They work out pretty quick. And lastly, tote bags. I don't know about you guys. I've never gone apple picking, but the pumpkin patch is a great place to get nice decor for your home, candles. So if you make your own tote bag, then you just take that with you instead of, you know, using up their plastic bags or paper bags. So it's a nice, sustainable, reusable bag that you can take with you when you're doing your fall shopping. Okay, and then as far as that goes, I definitely would suggest a throw blanket. This one's kind of on its own, but there is a pattern that I really enjoy using and it works up really quick. It's an offset V-stitch and you can do this with any size yarn, hook, you can adjust it for the way that you want and it is just so easy and so, so quick to do. I'm making so many of those right now. I'm so excited, but I definitely would recommend making a fall throw blanket because it's not too heavy it's not too light it's just right okay a couple of other quick things that I thought would be nice just kind of these like things that don't really fit 
they're more of like accessories, I guess you could say. So keychains, pumpkin keychains would be so adorable. And any kind of other fall type of keychain or just keychain in general, a leaf keychain. But that pumpkin keychain, especially if you like to accessorize for the season, definitely would recommend making a fall pumpkin keychain. Also, just quick, easy thing to make is bookmarks. I really like to read physical books. I listen to a lot of books too, but a physical book, I lose, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not, I don't do the dog ear on the corners. Absolutely not. I need a bookmark. So I'm usually reading about three books at the same time. So I don't, I can't really use the same bookmark. So easy bookmarks to make this daisy bookmark is really cute, simple, easy, and you could just make it the colors of fall or your favorite color. Why not? And then friendship bracelets. Crocheting friendship bracelets. That is so much faster than kind of the, I don't know if you guys remember doing that before with the, where you kind of like tie the embroidery thread and it makes this really cool design or the lanyards with the, um, what do you call them? The, I forget what the name of that like plastic stuff is, but the lanyards that we used to make, uh, those would be really fun to do as far as crochet goes. Oh, and I just remembered as far as the keychains are concerned, I saw these really cool like wristlet type keychains. So I don't know, I lose my keys all the time or I don't lose them, I misplace them and I usually have like a big keychain so I can find it if it's like hidden underneath something because that's just how I live my life. It's just a pile all the time. But putting a keychain like a wristlet or a longer keychain for me would help me find my keys and it's a really simple quick easy project to do for any time really not just the fall and then I did see this really cool sunglass pouch this would be fun just all year round of course fall inspo let's just try to let's get through that stash you know it's that time of year where, like I have so many ideas to do this and that and this and that and all my yarn is still here so let's get through that stash that's definitely what i'm trying to do right now before i buy too much more yarn but yeah definitely suggest making a sunglass pouch because i've i've have like several different sunglasses and i misplace those all the time also so a sunglass pouch would be a nice little thing to make and quick and easy and then what i want to get into now is what i call the wearables so like a fall cardigan would be great. For example, I have this cocoon cardigan, which was really, 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 really easy to make. Basically, you just make a giant granny square. And then when you're happy with the length, you just fold it in half. And then you make some sleeves. And you've got yourself a cardigan. It's super simple, super easy. Definitely, definitely recommend making one of these, especially if you have like a big cake of yarn. Woo, it goes so fast. And it's a lot of fun when they have this like variegated yarn too. Definitely recommend a cocoon cardigan or any other kind of cardigan. Right now, I believe if, if any of you are familiar with MJ, MJ's off the hook design, she has this granny pop uh, cow going on, crochet along. and it's just everything a v-neck a pullover a hoodie a cardigan she has even little tiny sweaters which i'm wearing on for my niece which i would recommend making too so cardigan sweaters little things this is going working up so fast this, this took a little time of course but this it's halfway done i just need to finish and add the arms which is like they're little it's not big Tiny human, big human. Grows much faster. So definitely recommend a cardigan, a sweater, a pullover. Also, I, oh, some really, really easy things to make. Wraps, scarves, fingerless gloves, which are some of the easier things to make. And, ah oh yes, socks, which I have yet to actually make but it's certainly on my list of things that I want to do for this year, along with slippers. So I saw this pattern, 
pop up on my Etsy randomly the or Etsy Pinterest <laughs> on my Pinterest the other day and I was like I really need to make those because they look really simple really easy and I have a lot of different yarn that I can use for it so like blanket yarn cotton yarn if you're whatever you want you can use any kind of yarn I'm sure for these socks or your acrylic yarn because I know for me my feet get hot they get cold they get hot they get cold so it's nice to have something like to put on your foot that's like a slipper but a sock I don't know what you would call that sock slipper I don't know either way I think that these are a lot of fun ideas for the fall season any time of the year stash busting whatever you want to do with it but I like to for me personally, I like looking at these types of things all the time on YouTube, on Pinterest, because I have so much yarn and I just need to get rid of it, as in use it, not get rid of it. I want to use it. I want to make wonderful things out of my yarn. So that is my list of 25 plus things plus patterns for the fall. These are also really great as gifts. So the cozies, the placemats, the coasters, a whole bunch of those can be given as gifts as well. Not just for yourself, but giving them as gifts is always a wonderful thing. A handmade gift is so wonderful. And I, I know I enjoy them. I like making them mostly. So that said, I hope you were inspired by these patterns and ideas for the fall season for stash busting. And I really want to thank you all for being here so much. I hope you're having a really, really wonderful day today. If you like this video, if you like this kind of video, if you want more inspo, definitely let me know down below. Like this if you haven't already. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I have a lot coming up for you guys in this the month of October and just a few more things coming up before October hits. So if you are curious about that, definitely subscribe, stick around. And again, I hope you're having a really, really, really wonderful day today. And if you are sticking around, I will see you next time. Bye.